Hello, hello, it's Man Snake here with another figure review. This time we're going to try and do one a little bit different. We're going to try to do a very quick review. Now try one of these first, so let's see how it goes. So, straight off the bat, we have the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I do kind of as weird how it has of the and of the in the same title. Seems a bit weird. So it's like, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> LV sounds almost like a name, doesn't it? Hey, LV, how you doing, man? <laughs> Moving on anyway, we have here the action figure Koba in his war paints. Now, as I said in my box opening of these, that I have recently watched the Dawn and the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I keep saying Dawn first, maybe because I'm looking at the word Dawn right now, but I, it is actually Rise then Dawn, is it not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. Either way... Very, very impressed with them. I, f I don't know if they're meant to be a sequel from actually the remake of Planet of the Apes or if they're actually an entirely new remake altogether because there's not really much connection to the original and they have kind of told and explained how it becomes the way it is. And I'm really excited to see if they do continue this franchise to see how it works out because it's really, really cool. Anyway, I'm rambling as per usual. Whoa, sorry. So let's get on to this figure. As you see, the packaging we have here some nice, like, deco of the actual ape here with like the ape symbol there and then dawn of the red blah, blah 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 in the back you can see some more war paints going on there i'll show you that when we get it cracked open and down the bottom here you have cobra in some hazard writing ages 14 up and it says warden choked hazards nothing on the side just open nothing on the other side just open nothing on the top just open and on the bottom as per usual we have the people who are responsible for creating this scrolling around to the back of the package and you can see also available collect them all caesar cobra and maurice maurice love that name we're very kind of like I don't know if there's any blood or whatever, but kind of like a dirty kind of psh, 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 a little picture of a monkey holding a gun and some like DNA strands or something going over there. Is that DNA? Oh, it's not. It's the insignia they, they draw. Very, very cool. Cool thing. Hazard one in there. Nice little packaging. So let's crack this bad boy open. Now, I'll reintegrate actually what um, Nolan McCool did. He did a box opening where he had some Daleks. And he said, if you ever want to take out a figure but keep the packaging intact as best you can, he said basically cut out the bottom like that and it should just slide out. I don't care for packaging, so I'm not going to do that. But just in case you wanted to, that's what you do. So, hey, let's check it out. Just there again, I closed up at that back packaging. That looks pretty cool. You can see like a white monkey head skull there. Very, very cool. Really nice, actually, artwork. I do like that. And then again, you've got the picture of the ape with the paint over the top of it. Very, very, very cool. And we are back. And wow, this figure's pretty cool. <clears throat> Once again, in case you didn't catch my box opening, I got this figure from the eBay seller Nikki UK84 or their website actionfiguremaster.com I will put a link in the description below please check them out they're very very good and this is another amazing job done by NECA now a quick little backstory into Mr. Cobra himself I'm not going to give any real spoilers away basically Cobra is a test monkey who's an old and seen it all before which is why he's missing some fur in some places and he's got some scars and he looks a bit shaggy compared to other like other apes but all in all very cool character. I really love what he does in the movie. That's what I'm saying. So what do you think of this figure? Honestly, it's really, really nice. I I just have like two gripes with it. One, you guys will be able to... is a kind of a standard one for me. And the other I'm going to talk about right now is... I'm going to talk about our gripes quickly. Basically, one is his joint angle. They're like straight up and I do not like them. And his lower crutch is normally is really hard. Normally this is softer plastic, so it doesn't really hinder the movement. And you think for apes, they'd definitely do something like that. But no, they've, they've left this quite firm. The other one is, I don't know why, but Neki seems to keep doing this, where they put a hinge, but then they put the swivel in the lower part. So you can rotate the arm around, but you can't bring the arm in. You can't bend it... You can't bend it in towards towards him like one sec let me cage here now he has the bends there but you can bring it in and out like that with Koba you can't do that you can just rotate when it's kind of pointless now I pretty much have I'm currently in the process of working on a fix to this and if it works out I will show you 
So having a close up look at that figure and his accessories, he comes with these extra hands. These ones are the ones that actually come on him and they're open and they swap out really easy. My right hand, this one, is a bit loose so it was a bit hanging dangly but the texture on this thing is really well done the fur on the sculpts on the back and the texture and color of the actual hands themselves and the creases just absolutely amazing see he's got some white paint going on the knuckles Real well done. And then these are his like gripping hands for holding the actual weapons. Personally what I'm going to do is keep these ones on because you know just don't, they generally walk around on their knuckles anyway so I think that'll probably be more I do like, I'm probably going to be using these ones more. I don't think I'll ever take them off really. But still again, really well sculpted. Nice paint apps, nice texture. Really, really, really nice design. Then the last accessory comes in is his spear. Now it is currently in two parts, to zoom out a bit. And this thing, when it's put together, is ten and a half inches long. It's absolutely massive. But the reason I'm not putting it together is because it's very difficult to take apart. I want to show it individually first. Now you could have him holding two separate weapons, so you can have like a spear end or like a stick with a club or a little kind of pointy stick there. Either way, it's pretty cool. But it is really, really well done. The, the wraps around this is so well painted and the stone blade is really, really nice. I think I've got a bit of paint bleed actually on the actual blade itself, the stone. But this literally does feel like a, a stone that's been kind of like hammered down to a sharp edge. It's very, very well done. And this again, really, really nice. The wood looks absolutely phenomenal. It really looks like they've just picked up a stick and wrapped it around. So very, very nice. And just to assemble this, this peg has a little cut missing out of it. I don't know if you can see that. And it has some bumps. And in there, there's a little kind of wedge. So I know this is rocket science, but you line up the wedge, line up the cut, and then pop. And that's it on. And then it's absolutely massive. Ten and a half inches long. So having a close up look at this figure's details, you can see he has got an absolute ton of details. Slewing from the paint apps going all over him, which is really, really well done. But just the intricate details of all the single grains of fur, so well done. It's got this cool brush stroke going to one side. And if you notice that one arm is different from the other, as I was trying to say earlier, is that he has had an experience. He does have these scars and like scar tissue and scar all kinds of things like basically all over him very very cool it's even his ears missing a chip and his eyes are different like uh, I think it's this eye with the scar going down which he's got kind of like blinded in one eye or got damaged eye just amazing all this detail going down to his little gorilla feet they're very dirty but they're also really well sculpted again as you can see, peg holes. Just every single ounce of this thing is just soaked in sculpt. Just from every little part. Definitely one of the more impressive figures on sculpt wise that I've seen in a while. Okay, so for articulation, the head is on a ball which kind of goes in at this angle. So you can go down that much and up that much which is quite a range to be honest you can go from side to side and you can rotate it around but like I said on that angle it looks a bit weird when you rotate it it's kind of best to kind of really rock it rather than rotate shoulders are on ball hinges so they can go around 360 degrees and they can go out that far and then there's no bicep rotation but then there's a rotation after the hinge. You have a single bend of that and then you can rotate after that but you can't really bend it if you rotate it. And then the arm or the hand is on a ball so you can go down that much, up that much, up that much, down that much and you can rotate around 360 degrees. Same on the other side. He has a diaphragm joint which is very stiff so you can go forward that much, back that much, so basically straight up. Um, but you can also go side to side and you can rotate 360 degrees on that. Great by the time. His hips, like I said, they're at that kind of Y angle. So there's the peg there. So you have to kind of bring it in and then rotate around. But because this is hard plastic and this is hard plastic, it is quite difficult. If you can get the phi part 
to go underneath there. It doesn't look so bad, but it's quite difficult to do so. But that's a Spartan. And for an ape, I think that's quite disappointing. He then has an upper fire rotation, full 360 degrees. Then has a single bend in the knee of that much. And you can rotate at the knee, but again, the more you go around, the less you get. And then he's got a ball socket on the actual foot. So you can go from there to there with a pivot from there to there and rotate around 360 degrees. Okay, so final thoughts. Would I recommend this figure? To be honest, I'm a little bit let down. Um, you guys know I'm a massive fan of NECA and I love pretty much all their work. But these elbows are really starting to annoy me. Now, I think I said earlier that like I said, I think, because this was like about four hours ago, uh, I think as I said that I have figured out a way to resolve this, but it just means more work for me at my end, which I shouldn't have to do. As for those hips, I can't think of a way to resolve them about it really changing the way the figure looks, so we shall see. All in all, yes, the sculpt is amazing, and I do like the figure, but definitely could do with some improvement. So would I recommend these figures? To be honest, probably down to personal preference. I am probably still going to get the rest of them and then see what I can maybe do about fixing some of the articulation flaws. Sure of that, then I would leave it entirely down to you. Anyway guys, that is my review. Sorry this wasn't uh, as quick as I was hoping to be and I do apologise if I've left anything out. Anyway guys, that is my review. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop me a like down below. Please add like and subscribe. Leave any comments you'd like to add about this video or my channel. And that's for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep collecting and I'm going to catch you in my next one. Bye bye.